garbage that I am. Fuck boy face. Anyway, so today we are discussing what fabrics I'm going to be using for my newest cosplay, who is in the title because I'm not attempting his name because I get really weird accents when I try to say names that I cannot pronounce, like my um, so Southern Kentuckian draw comes out. It is not um, fun. So we're just not gonna. He's gonna be, you know, in the caption. I love this author though. This is will be, I think, my second cosplay. I've done some casual cosplays for some of the characters, but this is gonna be my second actual cosplay that I'm making, which I'm super excited about. So let's jump into that. Most of these are just gonna be chiffons. Or there was like one fabric, I don't know what the content is, and then there's black cotton. We're gonna start with the black cotton. I don't have it in my hands. It is in my solid spin. I'm just taking all my black scraps and I'm going to piece together the um, under outfit. I want to make sure that um, all of the sleeves and everything all have a lot of um, structure like to hold them in place because if I put it on chiffon, oh, let's just use my red on for instance this is going to be a layer of the sleeves so if i put it on this like i make this in the bot like as the bodice part my sleeves will rip this it'll just rip right out so what we're doing is we're going to make all the under layers black cotton and there are some um more solid bits like his uh belt and there are some like skirt pieces that are hanging I, I'm still going to call it a skirt because I don't know what else to call it. I called it a skirt last um, making a video. I'm just going to keep calling it that. I don't know what to call it. I did some research. I couldn't figure out what, what every specific part of this outfit was called. So we're just kind of going to call it a skirt. If that is um, wrong and you guys know what it's called, please just let me know. I would appreciate it 100%. Anyway, back to what I was saying before. Um, there's gonna be some solid pieces on the skirt as well. Uh, it's attached to his belt. It'll like go flow in the front. I'm gonna make the belt and that piece and a couple of the other pieces out of the black cotton as well, but I'm gonna take a layer of the black chiffon that I have, if I have enough of it, and I'm going to cover those pieces so it has the same kind of texture as everything else. I might not do that depending on the amount of fabric I have. If I can buy some more fabrics, I'm trying not to buy any more fabrics for this cosplay. If I can buy more fabrics, I will probably be leaning towards getting a satin, like a solid um, matte satin, like I'm using for my uh, Shen Yuan cosplay from another one of MXTX's novel. Might have said that name wrong too. I don't know. Sorry, there was a noise. Anyway, as I was saying, all the understructure is going to be black. Okay, so anything... The sleeves are going to, like, the long, like, really long drapey sleeves are going to be attached to the black underlayer. Um, similar to what I did with my other um, MDZS, I think is the um, shortened version of it, the uh, Demonic Cultivation. Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. You know it, you know it. If you've clicked on this video, you know it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, but I'm going to be taking the black, having it as the understructure, just like I did with my other cosplay from this, and I'm going to move on from that, because that's already been explained a lot. The belt is going to have boning, and then I'm going to be using a rolled bit of the chiffon, of the red chiffon, and it's going to be um, attached to it that way. It's probably going to be permanently attached, and then the back will be hooking in. It'll be like hooks holding everything together. I have to be very careful with the belt because this is a competition piece and last time I made a like a belt in this style with the boning, it worked amazingly. I messed up on the uh, attachments. So we are going to hopefully not have that happen this time. And I'm hoping that'll go good. But that's how I'm going to be doing the belt and everything. Um... So now that we have know what the under structure of all the chiffon is going to be, I'm going to get into showing you like 
pants fabric and then I'm going to show you all of the chiffons that I got for this. Now for pants, I have this dark gray, it's like a slinky um, fabric, polyester fabric, it has a bit of stretch to it. I'm probably going to make the pants out of these. I have to have stretchier pants because I will rip them otherwise because I do the weirdest poses and if I make my own pants or if I buy the pants, they will rip on some of the poses that I will do. Um, like, I like doing action poses so much. So I'm going to be using this kind of stretch material to be um, making the pants kind of self-explanatory, you know? It's just, it's just pants. I can't really explain them more than just, it's just pants. I'm going to grab the next fabric and I will be right back. I'm doing real jump cuts because it keeps getting noisy. Although, honestly, I might just cut out the noisy bits and just grab the fabric like that. Simple as that. Anyway, so for the next undergarment, we're going to talk about the undersleeves. Red chiffon. Like two to three layers of this red chiffon, depending on how much I can get out of it. I honestly might just do... This is kind of a really not see-through. I got it from Fabric Wholesale, and their chiffon is the best chiffon I've ever had in my life. It's very sturdy, and it's not very see-through. So what I'm thinking, I might just do uh, two layered sleeves of the red chiffon, and then I'm going to maybe try to save the rest of this for another MXDX cosplay, because there are so many of the characters that's going to need this red chiffon. But I, I don't know how much I'm going to have left. There's five yards of here. I, if I can get um, four of the sleeve pattern cut out of this and still have enough to do another, like, use it for another costume, I will be so happy. So I think, yeah, just two layers for the undersleeve out of this red chiffon. I highly recommend going to Fabric Wholesale. This was like $2 a yard and it is amazing quality. I love it so much. And I just got <laughs> slight makeup all over it. That's fine. But yes, this is going to be the undersleeves. Now let's get into the oversleeves. Gray chiffon. This is slightly worse quality. I got it at a fabric store. I'm not going to specify which fabric store because I don't feel like it. Um, but it's just a gray chiffon. Kind of very thin. Very drapey though. It is very drapey. I got... Wait for it. Wait, wait. I got a lot. I think there's like 20 yards that I got. I don't know why I got that much. I overestimated how much I'm going to need. But that's good because I'm going to be making maybe three layers or maybe even four layers. Just a lot of layers on the oversleeve that's going to go right over the red. And then... I'm going to use it for the skirt piece. And then there's a second top on top of everything else that I'm going to be using a lot of layers of this for. So I don't know how much I'm going to actually be using of this. And I may try to dye some of it a darker gray so there's more gradient in there. But there will be a lot of layers in this. And each layer is going to be surge together and then the surge edge is going to go on the inside and then those are pieces are going to be made into the actual sleeve basically i will always be working with at least two layers of this just to prevent any fraying and also to prevent the edges from showing correctly like because i just really don't like the way raw edges look and I'm, since i'm doing this for the costume i have to be very cautious about everything so we're going to be taking this, putting it together, surging it together, and then using it as one piece. And that'll also save me from having to do a lot of lining and sewing and stuff. It's just easier for me this way. And I don't actually have a sewing machine right now that actually works. I'm going to be borrowing my boyfriend's, but for the most part, I will be using my serger for all of this. 
which I'm really hoping it works out in my favor. Anyway, last but not least for fabrics, we have a bit of black chiffon. I'm going to be using this for the um, main top. I'm going to be layering it with the gray, and I'm going to be using it for the skirt. That's all I really can say about this. It's just black chiffon. And whatever I have left, I'm going to see if I can't layer over the cotton just to make sure everything has like a cohesive feel. But honestly, I might like the way that the cotton looks, or I might be able to get the satin that I want. But honestly speaking, my con is in June. It is April. And uh, yeah, little concerned that I'm not going to get this done. But also, uh, this will keep me from procrastinating at least. I have a deadline. I might not procrastinate. Anyway, this is all that black. I don't know how many yards is here. I'll be completely honest. I have no idea how much yardage is here. I barely know how much yardage the gray is. The only reason I know is because my friend made fun of me for it. For getting so much of it. And then I went back and got another mm -hmm. couple yards. That's why I know how much the gray is. I don't know how much the black is. I know the red because I bought that online. That That's it. I bought it online when I bought a bunch of other stuff. And all of the fabrics I got were five yards. Moving on from that, if I can find my trims, I have to find my trims. I don't know where they're at. Hold on. Wait, I think I got them. Yes. Okay. So, I have this lace from a dress that I made. It's secondhand lace. I have this little scrap of it too. I think it's secondhand lace. I'm pretty sure it's secondhand lace. But I have these little scraps, and I'm going to cut them, the flowers out, and cut some of the designs out. I'm going to layer it, and I'm going to make his, like, a design on the overshirt on that sleeve, like he has. Super easy, super self-explanatory. And on that note, where that design is, I'm thinking about adding just a little bit of tassel for some extra detailing, just to make it really pretty, really nice, all of that. Finally, my favorite thing, trim. So much trim. This will be um, over top of the tassel and it'll be encompassing the entire bit of that sleeve. And I might incorporate this in other areas of the costume. It just really depends on how everything looks. But that's what that looks like up close. Is it focusing? I don't know. This is very pretty. Very pretty trim. I like it. And I guess that's all I have to really say about this costume um, until I get started on it. I do I do have a pattern. I'm going to go get the pattern so I can uh, show you what patterns I'm using because I have two. And then that'll be all I'm going to be showing of this costume. I'll be right back. I'm back. So we are going to be using this pattern. Um, it is the Simplicity R10727. Looks like this. This pattern fits me perfectly. I just used it. It's amazing. I love this pattern. It's wonderful and I can go on about it. Truly do enjoy that pattern. And I'm going to be trying out this pattern for his overtop. If this doesn't work, I will just be trying it out from, you know, this one. But if it does work, that's good. I love it. And that's all I really gotta say about that. Oh, wait. Um, before I do anything else, I do did forget, even though this fits perfectly, um, the top, A, it has a zipper back, so just ignore the fact that it has a zipper back and make it tie in the front. Um, it has a short waist, so I recommend, for sure, extending this. Like, just, just extend it. I extended mine, I think, six inches. And I think that worked pretty well for me. And I I don't remember what size I am. I think I went oh, um, one size larger just because I wanted to make sure everything fit correctly. And it fit perfectly. So I don't know how the sizing actually runs. But if it's perfectly for me, I would say just make sure you make a mock-up. My last cosplay was my mock-up, essentially. So all that's all good. I did also forget one more thing. Gray ribbon, 
just to tie the top. That's it. Just to tie the tops, make sure everything's good. I might switch this out for black ribbon if I can find some, but I just had to use my black ribbon on something else. So it just depends on if I can find any. But that that's it for the video. That's it for everything I bought for this cosplay. And stuff I didn't buy, stuff I had in my stash. Um, all the trims and stuff were just stuff I had lying around in my stash, as were the patterns. Nothing but the fabric itself was specifically bought for this cosplay, and I'm even going to try to stop doing that. I'm going to try to only use stash uh, fabrics for everything else from now on. But yeah, that, that's it for that costume. That's it for this video. 